Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a summer makeup tutorial. This is the final product that I came out with, but if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Okay, so usually in a summer makeup look, everyone kind of goes for the natural, neutral looking, usually with a hint of color, something bold, and also wants that glowy, luminous, golden, glowy skin that looks like a tan, even though you're not tan. And that's what usually what everyone goes for during the summer, so I'm going to try and get that look. I don't have a plan or what products I'm using. I don't ever have a plan I just kind of make it up as I go along so we'll see where this goes I might not even have a golden glowy neutral bold look so if this setup is really weird I'm sorry okay I, I this is my first time using an actual camera to film and then I don't have any sort of light setup I'm using my window which has not a lot of light coming through it because the sun isn't on this side and there's also a ginormous house just blocking it, which is rude. So yeah, if lighting's bad, I'm sorry. I tried. Um, and also my vanity, if you can't tell, is behind me and I don't have a table in front of me. So I'm using this chair. I don't think you can see the chair. But there's a chair in front of me that's going to have all my products there. And then I can't use my light because my light is plugged in behind my bookcase and I'm not going to go behind that thing and try and plug it and then go back. That's just a lot. So who knows how this tutorial is going to turn out. Anyways, let's jump right into this. Ow, I hurt my head. I am ready to go, ready to get this tutorial started. My face is already moisturized. For primer today, I am going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like a little travel size one, but I have like 10 of them. I'm not even joking right now so many but I'm gonna put this all over more, my face I love the way this primer feels so like soft and you can really feel it like blurring out your pores okay so after primer now it's foundation The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. This is like literally the best concealer ever. Not even kidding about that one. I highly recommend. Blend, 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 blend. Now we're going to set all of those liquids with some powder. And I'm going to use this powder from Bare Minerals. It's um, a multitasking minerals and bisque. Um, I just, I don't, I don't have a reasoning for using it. It's just kind of like a powder that I have so I use it, you know? N we don't waste the makeup here, sis. brushes I've been using. Okay, back up. So for the powder, I used this Luxie brush in um, Luxie 514. It's a blush brush, but I use it for powder, obviously. And then for my foundation, I just use this beauty blender. I don't really know where it's from. And then for my concealer, I use this beauty blender from Pure. Okay, now... I'm going to do another powder to set my under eyes. It's like a banana powder. It's uh, from Phys Physicians Formula, the Bronze Booster Trio. And it's this powder right here. And banana colors really brighten up your under eyes, which gives this youthful look that everyone loves. So I'm going to go in with my Royal and Lignical powder brush. This little tiny little powder brush that I love using that really gets under the eyes. So we're just going to swirl it around in there, dust dust, and then 
just sweep it under like that. I basically put it anywhere that I put concealer. So on my forehead, under my eyes, my nose, and my chin. Okay, now after that, I go in with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I have like the little travel size little sample that I got. And like when I purchased something from there, and you know, they give you little samples. So that's what this is. I have the actual full size one but I want to get rid of this one first before I actually dig into that and then for the bronzer I'm going to use this Tarte dual ended brush this is like a bronzing and then this is like for highlight but I'm going to take the bronze side the bigger side and just kind of I kind of push really hard into it and then dust dust you just put that kind of like in a three so like on your forehead to the side of your face right in like the hollow of your cheekbone and then down and then I put a little on my neck and my chin. All of these baby hairs are saying hello today. Now it's time for contouring. contour I go in with this Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush you can see that can you even see that like that and then I dip it in the same color and I just go down the bridge of my nose then like right here at the nostrils and then a little bit under we want a sister snatched nose a sister snatched snozz I go in with this crown brush. I don't really, I don't know what type of brush it is, but it's just kind of like compacted brush. Kind of looks like a mushroom top. And I just take this and I blend it all together. I blend all my contour and bronzer together so it looks a little more natural. blended with my contour and bronzer I go in with blush and I have been really loving this blush from Milani it is so pretty look at that and also it's super light which I like that because as you can see or I'm sure you have seen many times I have very rosy skin in my face like rosy cheeks and everything but I also love bronzer I mean not bronzer what the heck but I also love blush, and this very light it goes on light. You can honestly barely even see it. But phone, please be quiet. But it just blends very naturally into my skin, so I love this. It is number four, Berry Rays. It's super good. And then I take this crown brush. Um, it's like a stippling brush. And I really love this because it also, I'm sure as you can tell, it's like, very spaced out bristles and that also helps make the blush go on a lot more naturally and not as intense as some brushes would make it so I just swirl around there tap tap and then put it right on the apples of your cheeks Now we are skipping highlight, I save that until the very last step, and we are moving straight to the brows. Because these are not okay. These are not acceptable. I don't even know what these are. Okay, so for my brows, I actually use an eyeshadow color. I go into this Tarte 
clay play face shaping palette and I go into the shade smoke which is this one right here and I take this I don't even know what brush this is I just found it it's a just a very tiny thin angled brush and I just dip right into that smoke shade and I just go right across my brows try and match them and there we go it's actually really good I love using this eyeshadow There we go, brows all complete. I usually clean them up with concealer, but I really don't feel like doing that right now. And also, they look pretty good. I, there's really nothing to clean up, I feel like. So, thumbs up for me. So after the brows are done, I go in with this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I just swap those right on my eyelids. Let's do like a little swipe there. Swipe there. So after I swipe those on, I go in with this Kylie, um, like, compact brush thing, and I just kind of dab this all around my eye to create a base for my eyeshadow and to also help my eyeshadow stick throughout the day and not falling off. So now it is eyeshadow time, personally one of my favorite times. And I am going to go in with the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey palette. I have been using this palette all throughout summer so far. It is so pretty, so gorgeous. I feel like it's just a perfect summertime look. And I like absolutely am obsessed with it. So I'm going to give you guys kind of like my everyday summer makeup look that I've been doing since summer started. If that makes sense. I don't, does that even make sense? I don't even know. I'm going to take this Kylie eyeshader brush, like a normal just eyeshader brush. I'm not good at words. Okay, so I'm going to go into the shade Creamed Honey right there. And I'm going to use this just kind of as like a base and also to set my eyeshadow primer that I used from Urban Decay beforehand. And also, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but this actually has like little tiny glitters in here and it's so cute. I take this all the way up to my brown, my, my brown, <laughs> my brow bone to also kind of highlight that. I'm not a big fan of putting like an actual highlight on my brow bone. I feel like it just looks weird for me, so I use more like a matte shade for that that's closer to my skin tone to highlight. Okay, next... I am going to take this Royal and Lee Nicole Crease Brush in number 217 and I'm going to dip in to, I think I'm going to try and mix it up and not go for my everyday summer look. I'm going to try and do something different with this palette. So I'm going to go into Honey Buns. It's this really pretty mustard yellow right here and I'm going to go into that and put it right in the crease. I'm going to dip into with the same brush is Honey Brittle. It's the color right above it. It's kind of like a corally color right there. And I'm also going to go into my crease with that, but like right below the top of the yellow. It's very light, not too pigmented. So it's like perfect for like a transition, you know? Now with the same brush, I know I use this brush literally throughout the whole eyeshadow look and like one other brush, I'm sorry, but girl's on a budget. I am going into Feeling Nutty, this like, I don't know, this type of brown right here, and I'm also just dipping into my grease. So putting that on kind of took away the pink, so I'm going to go back in with that pink shade and add it back in so it's still there. Now dipping into a peanut butter, this brown shade. Oh 
this brown shade called peanut butter right here and also dipping that right into the crease man but i'm gonna dip it into the crease and also more of the outer v area so kind of like right there and right there so now i am going into going nuts it's this dark almost like a shimmery shade right here and and that is going in the outer V area, and I'm taking the same brush, as always. And I'm just going to put that in the outer V to darken it up. So I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm going to put that on my hand. And I'm going to take this... Luxie Concealer Brush number 211 and I'm gonna do like a half cut crease with this and just from the inner to the inner half part basically. Okay, so I half cut in my crease and now I'm going into the Tarte um, make believe in yourself eye and cheek palette and I'm gonna take my Royal and Lignical eyeshadow brush number 466 and I already spritzed it with some MAC Fix Plus and I'm gonna go in with this orangey shade called Wings right there and I'm gonna put that on top of the concealer. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey palette and I'm gonna take that going that shade right here and I'm gonna kind of blend this concealer slash glitter and the this color together so it looks more natural looking and then I'm also gonna take going nuts and put it down on my lower lash line now I'm gonna take this Kylie blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out all the shadow so it's not too crazy and also so it's more blended together and looks more natural. Now it is eyeliner time. So I'm going to take this Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I really need to get the full size because I only have like the travel size type. I have a lot of travel size products. So I really need to get the full size because this thing is bomb. I never know how my eyeliner is actually going to turn out. So I kind of just make a line and then keep it going. So I'm just going to take it kind of to where my shadow ends and then straight down to the outer part of my eye and then go on top and do it right across until it hits my eye and then go like that. You'll see. I know that sounds confusing, but you'll see. that is one eyeliner done now the hardest part about eyeliner is trying to match it as close as possible with the other eye that is the hard part so they actually look nothing alike why did I, I jinx myself on that one so now I'm gonna go in with concealer and try and clean it up <sighs> sometimes eyeliner sometimes you remind me of why I never wanted to wear eyeliner in the first place so, I just realized that my camera was off and I didn't even know that. So, I don't know how far you guys are up, but I'm not, I'm not going to update you guys, sorry. This video is really getting the best of me. Okay, just put it on this lash. Put it on the lash. It's all going to be okay. It wants to be stuck! You know what? No. No, no, no. No lashes today. I tried. I really tried. But you know what? I have had it with these lashes. I'm actually thinking about throwing them away because they're kind of a piece of garbage. Don't recommend elf lashes at all, actually. They've always been a piece of garbage. But you know what? <sighs> keeping my cool, okay? I am keeping my cool. We're just going to go with mascara, okay? A lot of coats of mascara can really look like falsies, you know? Okay? So... 
all the lash glue wasted, but you know what? I've always hated this lash glue. So that is going to. I am sorry. I am so sorry. I have wasted get all of your guys' time. And you know what? I don't even know if it's recording right now because the battery is like almost dead. It is blinking red right now. So I'm just going to throw on some mascara, put on my lips, put on some highlight, and then setting spray and we're good to go. makeup summer look um it took quite a twist at the eyeliner I'm not even kidding I got so frustrated after that but I hope you guys enjoyed I'm sorry this was such a mess it was like absolutely insane um my first time using a camera for my videos so I was so unprepared and everything and my hair is a freaking mess I don't even know how good that slave trail looked but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got a laugh out of this. It was definitely something. Um, but please subscribe down below if you enjoyed. And give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys all next Saturday. Bye.